How do you describe the styling of the new Ford Flex? I'd call it Mini Cooper meets Land Rover. Now, when I had the Flex, some people did ask my wife if it was a British taxi. Now, bottom line, it doesn't look like a Ford, and Ford likes that. In fact, they took the blue oval off of a Flex, showed it to customers, and most couldn't identify it as a Ford product. And that's what they want, because they want to attract people who haven't been buying Fords. And unfortunately for Ford, there are a lot of those people. Now, I have to admit that when I first saw the Flex at auto shows, the styling didn't exactly turn me on. In fact, it left me cold. But you know what? It's really grown on me. And after you experience the Flex, you actually start to get the looks. But I'll tell you, it's really the interior that sells the vehicle. Ford provided me with a fully loaded limited model, which had an interior that really beats anything that Ford has ever made. It's beautiful without being garish, well laid out, lots of options, including that lovely skylight, they call it a Vista roof, the sink system, and a refrigerator freezer in the back. But those options can push the price over the 40000 mark. Now you can get into a base model flex without a lot of options for about $30,000. Overall, the driving experience is just fine no matter what model you have. The engine's smooth but not overpowering. The feel not the least bit trucky. And while the flex does feel a little heavy, it doesn't feel big. And there's absolutely no trouble parking it, especially when you have the optional backup sensors and backup cameras. Now you have three rows of very comfortable seating, and yes, I did try out the back row, all six foot four of me, and I had no trouble getting in and out. Now there's some room behind that back row as well with the obligatory ability to fold seats down to haul more stuff. Now you end up with the utility of an expedition with better fuel economy than an explorer and the driving feel of a car. Now the Flex just might be the big winner that Ford really needs. I'm Autobeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.